Ibotse Links, a special golf course, and a fitting place to meet up with a player who you'd have thought was more used to this kind of land than most South Africans. Q School winner, Herman Loebscher. There aren't many Lynx courses here in uh, South Africa, so this is one of the, the few ones we actually got here. And I think the way the course is playing at the moment as well, with like the dry conditions and uh, the wind blowing, it literally reminds me of being back in the England playing on Lynx courses. Back in England because he spent 14 years up there, hence the accent. He's now home, enjoying the Big Easy Tour and events in this part of the world. They're massive, especially because they're around here in Joburg and whilst we're staying up here, it just makes a lot of sense to be playing them. And they're co-sanctioned with the Mina Tour as well. Obviously it increases the prize fund, which makes it that much more sort of uh, special for us to play in them. And um, it just keeps me busy as well, because it's a seven week gap we've got now and not playing any tournaments in seven weeks, it'll be, it'll be tough. So it's, yeah, it's, it's amazing to sort of prepare for the next Sunshine Tour event. He's an 18-year-old making a career for himself after good results as an amateur, and his background should help as he develops his game. I grew up on the Isle of Man, so I spent all my junior golf playing over there, playing in the windy conditions, playing in the cold weather like this. And um, every now and then there'd be tournaments over in England which I'd have to travel to and travel back from. But wherever the bigger tournaments were, even up in Scotland, the thing is I had to move eventually because of um, sort of just got a bit expensive having to travel from the Isle of Man to England the whole time. And um, yeah, so now I've been over here for three years now and lived there for 14 years. The three years back in South Africa have seen him go through some difficult times, a teenager finding his place. The first year was tough for me. Um, Obviously I was that, at that stage of, in my life where I'd, my friends were everything to me so the first year was definitely difficult but now the last two years have been, they've been awesome. Playing such great golf courses here, good mates over here and uh, the weather is definitely a bit better over here. He feels he's been able to build a strong foundation for his career and he's happy to spread the word. I do speak to a few of my golf friends and sort of acquaintances over there and they think it's a great idea, the Sunshine Tour and the Big Easy Tour, just sort of getting a stepping stone and just building, building up your golf, playing against some, of, some really good players and getting experience for the bigger tours later on. At Rand Park at the end of March, Herman was still an amateur in the Sunshine Tour Q School, negotiating 162 holes all told against a host of other hopefuls. He won by two strokes. That was huge. It's obviously made a lot of people realise who I am, put me straight on the scene and just gave me so much confidence as well, knowing that I can beat these guys, you know what I mean, I'm, I'm good enough to be here. So yeah, that was, that was a massive win in my career. He readily acknowledges this was gruelling, the toughest challenge in his young career. I remember how nervous I was the first few holes. I think I missed a two-footer on the first hole and I just remember being so nervous and then the relief when I, when I finally won and yeah, it was very, very good times. Good times have continued with a top five in the Investec Royal Swazi Open, but there have been some trying times too. It's very tough. You've got to play really, really good golf if you want to be competing here. Um, I've noticed especially over the last few weeks, if, if you're slightly off with your game, then you're not going to be struggling to make cut or even worse, you know what I mean? So, yeah, the guys here are very, very good. Got to be on your game. So how would he characterise himself as a player? What has he got when he's on his game? I'm definitely not a bomber. My friends will know, um, they cheer me quite often about that, but I'd like to think I'm a clever golfer. I'd sort of try to hit four iron off most tees, or I'd try to give myself a better, better chance at attacking a few flags and um, I'm usually quite good around the greens. He's sitting 28th at the moment on the order of merit after competing in five tournaments. What's the target? I think top 50 end of the year for the Sunshine Tour is obviously a big goal, but otherwise just try to play as well as I can, tournament to tournament, and I think the order of merit will take care of itself. A clever golfer taking care of business very nicely.